Godzilla vs. Megatron, Ali Fraser, Jobs Gates, the legendary battles of greatness. True legends are forged on the field of conflict. On the hips, in the pockets, and firmly attached to the ears of the masses are two great competitors. In this corner, Blackberry, the champ. It's been through the wars and faced off and emerged victorious against foes, both technical and litigious. And in this corner, it's iPhone. It's sleek, it's cool, it's hip, it's everything the Blackberry is not. But in the heat of work, when the pressure mounts, is it up to the challenge? Today, round one, iPhone versus Blackberry. Oh, to be sure, there are other contenders, but in reality, they are really pretenders. The world wants to know, needs to know. Blackberry or iPhone? iPhone or Blackberry? Well, we usually don't do product comparisons on the show. Instead, we like to talk about how we use technology, how it fits in our lives, instead of comparing one product to the other. But I get asked so often if I prefer the iPhone or the Blackberry, I thought we'd better cover it on the show. Now, to be truthful, don't expect me to tell you which one I prefer, because they're like kids to me. I love them both equally. But one does have skills the other lacks, and each one fits in different aspects of our lives. So let's take a look at what each one has to offer and see if we can shed some light on which one might fit best for you. First, overall design. When we look at the overall design, we see the iPhone is indeed sleeker and the BlackBerry more utilitarian. And in fact, the BlackBerry is dominated by this keyboard. That's because the BlackBerry is really designed for an email-centric life. And that keyboard is a really big part of that world. It's a full QWERTY keyboard, and when you press on each of the BlackBerry keys, you get a nice positive response telling you that you're typing properly. And I find I'm a much faster typer on the BlackBerry. Now, we navigate our way through the different BlackBerry screens using this little ball here called the Pearl. It's a navigation tool and allows us to scroll through all of the different applications. Now on this main screen here we see my four basic BlackBerry applications, which are our basic tools that we use at work. Email, phone, calendar, and our contact list. The same tools as you have, say, within Microsoft Outlook. Now there are lots of other different applications that I've installed in my BlackBerry, and we can install additional applications in Blackberries and in iPhones. So no two people's BlackBerry or iPhone will be configured the exact same. Now I've installed applications like a GPS to help me travel around different towns when I'm visiting towns. I've also got web-based applications, plus I've got a variety of different entertainment applications that came pre-installed. I've got the ability to be able to listen to music, be able to even watch video or take pictures using my BlackBerry. But I have to tell you, I've never listened to a song or watched a video on my BlackBerry, and I probably never will. For me, the BlackBerry is all about email, contacts, and phone, my main business applications. However, for that sort of life, for the, when I'm doing those things, I'm interested in what the iPhone gives me, because the iPhone is built as an entertainment device, it's built on the iPod. Now we notice as soon as we turn on the iPhone, that is a very different interface. It's first of all got no keyboard, and it's got a huge, bright, very vivid touch screen. And once again, we see all of the different tiles that we have access to of all the different applications installed. And a lot of those are entertainment based. Now both of these devices can live comfortably either on our mobility network or on Wi-Fi network. Now I'll say that with one caveat. Certain Blackberries live comfortably in Wi-Fi as well. And if you're doing very heavy data applications, you want to make sure that your Blackberry is Wi-Fi capable. But all iPhones are set up for both phone and Wi-Fi access. And we use Wi-Fi an awful lot with the, with the iPhone. And the reason is, besides our phone functionality and email, and I'll just quickly go into email here and show you the email screen as we can go through and you can write and receive email. And if you want to edit or if you want to do anything else, you just click on reply. And the keyboard is a little bit different than the BlackBerry keyboard in the fact that it's a soft keyboard. And as you type on any of the different keys, the key expands to tell you you're hitting the correct letter. Now, even with that, I find I'm a little bit slower as a typist on the iPhone than I am on the BlackBerry, but I don't use it as much as a email tool. It's more for monitoring email and less for sending email. Now, some people might be different. Some people might find it much more useful as far as sending and receiving email and typing. I find I'm a little bit cumbersome on it. But where the iPhone really starts to show its strength is when we look at the other two core applications here. The first is web browser. I've got the, my web browser launched here, and you notice if I turn the iPhone sideways, the, the screen automatically reorients, and here's the biggest difference with the BlackBerry. The screen is large and gorgeous, and I can read very easily and very comfortably on this iPhone screen. I find as far as web browsing goes, it's a joy to use. But beyond web browsing, which is a great application in itself, we have to remember that the iPhone is in reality an iPod that has phone capabilities. And the iPod 
the premier entertainment device on the planet. So we have to look at how this works as an iPod. Right down here in my main application area is the iPod button. When I open that up, I'm brought into the iPod player, which will allow me to view videos. It will allow me to listen to music. It will allow me to access all of my different playlists that I sync from iTunes on my computer. I can download movies and watch movies on this screen. It is a great way to enjoy all of your digital media. And it actually goes beyond that because beyond playing back all of that information, it has a really nice high resolution resolution camera built in that you can use to take pictures as well. So it's as far as its entire media life goes, the iPhone has everything built in. And that's really the difference between the iPhone and the Blackberry. The iPhone is about your whole life. It's about fitting all of the different things that you want to do into one device. The Blackberry is about your business life, about fitting all things in business into one particular device and it excels in that area. So overall, what's the difference? Well, I have to tell you, the iPhone is the winner as far as innovation, as far as personal satisfaction with a piece of technology, it is unquestionably the winner. It's sleek, it's elegant, people fall in love with it instantly. But believe it or not, I am not going to replace my Blackberry with the iPhone, at least not yet. Now I will switch back and forth a bit and I'm going to live with each for a week or a month at a time to verify what I'm about to say. But here's my position, for a business application, for pure business, the BlackBerry is more task focused. The iPhone lets me live a fuller life with my phone and my music and my video and better web browsing and being a, just an overall cooler dude. But the biggest reason that I'm going to keep my BlackBerry is battery life. I'm not sure the iPhone's always going to have the juice when I need the juice. For example, I'm flying from Vancouver to Toronto, I want to be able to hit the ground running. And if I've drained my battery on entertainment applications on the flight, I'm not going to be able to do that. Now this might be a red herring. Maybe the battery life will be good enough. Maybe it won't be that important. Maybe I'll charge the battery on the plane in the seat. I don't know. We'll have to see as we go along. But the bottom line is both of these are great. They are terrific tools. Well designed, elegant, and they make you better communicators. And we are going to continue this particular comparison and discussion down the road a bit.